And now, your Midday Arklamist News Update. <clears throat> and good Monday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your Midday Arklamist Update. Well, two people were injured Sunday afternoon in a shooting that took place in Lazar Park in West Monroe. According to authorities, the two victims are currently in critical condition. The identity of the victims have not been released, and there are no known suspects at this time. The investigation continues and will provide updates on air and on our website, myarklamas.com. A suspect has been arrested in Caldwell Parish in connection to the shooting death of a 29-year-old man. 34-year-old Richie Allen Norris of Vidalia was arrested in the shooting of 29-year-old Devin Hines. Hines was pronounced dead in a gunshot wound on Friday, the 16th of February. A warrant for second degree murder was obtained for Norris. He was arrested on a traffic incident without a traffic uh, call without incident. On to a news update. According to the advocate, former LSU running back Trey Holly will plead not guilty to all three charges. Holly and two others have been arrested in connection with a shooting at a Union Parish apartment complex. He's facing charges of attempted second degree murder, aggravated criminal damage to property, and illegal use of a weapon. Holly released a statement on social media Saturday after being charged with attempted second degree murder. Holly said in part, quote, as you guys know, I was recently arrested on three felony charges. I have been falsely identified, accused, and arrested. I am 100% innocent, and the people that know me know this is not my character at all. I was not involved in the incident at all. I was at home where uh, the incident, when the incident took place. I turned myself in because I was notified of an arrest warrant, and I want to fully cooperate. And we'll continue to keep you updated on this case on air and online at myarklamas.com. Well, Governor Jeff Landry has declared a state of emergency in Louisiana due to a lack of police officers. The Louisiana Sheriff's Association estimates that Louisiana Sheriff's Offices were down approximately 1,800 deputies statewide, resulting in record low in employ uh, employment and increase in response time. The announcement came three days before a special legislative session is set to begin to address the statewide crime problem. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. As we head into this afternoon, we'll continue with the sunshine temperature staying mainly in the mid to upper 50s. We'll kind of hit around 60, 61 for daytime highs today. Winds will continue to come out of the south. It will be sunny and cool without much of today. And then overnight tonight, we will see mostly clear conditions. We'll see a few clouds try to push in around 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. It really won't be much. We'll continue with mostly clear skies for tomorrow. Temperatures will continue to warm up with the southerly flow out of the south. Temperatures will continue to rebound as we kind of hit mid 70s throughout the rest of the week. Overnight lows will also kind of warm up a little bit and more clouds are expected to kind of start increasing closer towards Wednesday into Thursday as a weak funnel system will start to pass on through. Expecting a low of 39 degrees for tonight, winds will stay calm just out of the south. Won't be as cold, but still want those jackets handy. But for tomorrow, we'll warm up quite nicely, expecting lower 70s to be nice and pleasant with winds staying calm still out of the southwest. And then throughout the rest of the week, dry weather is expected to prevail. We will have a weak front try to push in on Thursday. Cloud cover kind of increases just ahead of that and rain chances stay minimum for Thursday. But once we head towards Friday, We'll see slightly cooler conditions, but not by much, just upper 60s. And then we'll be warming back up quite nicely to the mid-70s for the weekend, expecting very nice conditions if you have any outdoor plans. And then next Monday, some clouds will start to return. Temperatures still warming up to the upper 70s. Overnight lows will stay mainly mid-50s and also in the mid-40s. That is it for our update today on this Monday as pleasant weather returns to our area getting warmer. NBC News Daily will be continuing now. In the meantime, be kind to each other. Let's check on our neighbors and uh, take care of our pets. Most importantly of all, God bless us everyone.